Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is Algebraic Reasoning Part 1. Remember third graders, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's do a review about the words when we're reading them, reading them in word problems may mean we need to add or subtract or multiply or divide. Let's start with addition first. Sum, total, plus, in all, all together, and perimeter, join, increased by, together, or added to. For subtraction, we have difference, minus, less than, fewer, take away, decreases, how many more, exceed, remain. For multiplication and division, we have, starting with multiplication, times, each, in all, twice, per, area, factor, multiple, multiplied by, and equal groups. For divide, we have half, same, split, quotient, divisor, equal group, separate, distribute, divided by, cut up, and shared equally. Let's dive into question number 44. And remember, we have our third grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. Tyrese had 572 baseball cards. He sold some of the baseball cards and then had 98 baseball cards left. Which equation could not be used to find the number of baseball cards Tyrese sold? Is it F, 572 minus our square because it's unknown is equal to 98? G, 572 minus 98 equals and then our square, H98 plus our square equals 572, or J, 98 plus 572 equals our square, <laughs> because the square is it's unknown. So in order for us to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the equation that could not be used to find the number of baseball cards Tyrese sold. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, well, what information can help us find the answer? And the information that can help us find the answer is, one, Tyrese had 572 baseball cards. Two, he sold some of the baseball cards and then he had 98 be baseball cards left. Now that we know that, well, how do we solve the problem? In order for us to solve the problem, we need to write an equation with the information we have. And that way, it will help us to determine which equation cannot be used to find the number of baseball cards, okay? So, Let's set up our equation. We had said that Tyrese had 572 baseball cards. He sold some, then he had 98 baseball cards left, okay? So what is our correct answer? Okay, in order for us to find the correct answer, let's look again at our equation we know that the total number of baseball cards Tyrese had was 572. Then he sold some, which means that he has less than 572 because it says then 
he had 98 baseball cards left, okay? So let's walk through each of our answer choices to see which one could absolutely not be an equation we can use to find the answer, okay? Let's start with F. We have 572 minus, and we have an un, a square because we don't know the number, is equal to 98. Well, that one does seem correct because it matches what we have for when we set up our equation in order to solve the problem, right? We have 572 baseball cards minus a question mark, which is the same thing as having a square there because we don't know the value is equal to 98 baseball cards left. So F, yes, that can be used. That's not the correct answer because remember, we're looking for the equation that could not and not is in all caps, y'all. So that means we it, it has to be the one that is wrong. No, absolutely not, Miss Jackson. We cannot use this equation in order to find out how many cards um, he that he sold. Okay. So now let's look at G. G says 572 minus 98 is equal to, and then we have our box for the unknown. Can we use that as the equation to solve? Actually, yes, we could use this equation because all the difference is instead of us having the unknown or the box subtracting from 572, we're subtracting the 98, which will give us how many cards he sold. So G cannot be um, our correct answer, okay? Now let's look at H. H has 98 plus a square is equal to 572. So yes, I could use this equation to find out how many baseball cards he sold because what I would be doing is adding the ones that he have left plus the ones he sold will equal to the total number of baseball cards Tyrese had, which is 572. So H again is even though it is a correct equation for how to find the number of baseball cards he sold, it is not the correct answer for this problem because again, we're looking for the equation that could not be used to find the number of baseball cards. And I know it's a it may seem like a slow process, third graders, but it's really helping you to just take time to think, okay, could this be used? Okay, well, if it can be, okay, no, because we're looking for the one equation we could not use, okay? So let's look at J. J says 98 plus 572 is equal to our square, which is an unknown number. Now, if we added 98 plus 572, that would actually be more than the baseball cards Tyrese have, which... Mm, that wouldn't seem right, correct? Because he started five, with 572, then he sold something, sold some. That means our the number of baseball cards that Tyrese has is actually less than 572 because it says he had only 998 baseball cards left. So since J cannot be the equation that we can use, that is the correct answer. Great job, third graders. Listen, sometimes it just takes practice and work and thinking. When you live to be 102, you'll say, Miss Jackson, because of you, I have lived to be 102 because I'm solving math problems. All right, let's look at number 45. What number goes in the square to make a true statement? Okay, so we see the square and it says times five is equal to 45. Is it A, 50, B, 8, C, 9, or D, 40? In order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, well, what are we looking for? We are looking for the number that goes in the square to make the true the statement true, or to make the true statement. Next, what information can help find the answer? 
Well, the information that can help find the answer is we have a question mark or a square because we don't know the value times five is equal to 45. Now that we know what information can help find the answer, our next question is, how do we solve the problem? Well, because we don't know what times five is equal to 45 because we have a question mark there, what we could do it to find the number is the opposite, which is 45 divided by five is equal to, yes, 45 divided by five is equal to nine. So what is our correct answer? In order for us to find our correct answer, what we need to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has nine as a value. And you guessed it, it is C. C is our correct answer. And that is it third graders for part one of algebraic reasoning. Remember, we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.